Hello chums and welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. Today we're going to be taking a look at Redout. Now, Redout is sort of uh, pseudo-inspired, I, I don't even know if I, could, I should say pseudo, but it's definitely inspired by games like Wipeout, F-Zero, and uh, you know, there's I think there's a few other uh, games that are in there. Uh, but this is basically just a, a super fast futuristic racer. Now, we have a few of these that are available uh, on the Switch already, namely uh, one of the big ones is... Um, what is the name of that one? Fast Racing Neo, I think is the name of it. Uh, it's a it's a cool racer, very much like Wipeout as well. Um, it's it's an interesting genre for me though. As much as I really like racing games, Wipeout and these really fast futuristic racers sometimes are almost too fast to like kind of keep up with. At least for me, maybe it's my my eyes going on me, whatever it is. Um, but I'm very interested to check out Red Out here, and uh, we're gonna jump into the career immediately. And see what we got going on here. So it says, Welcome to the Solar Red Out Racing League, pilot. Select your starting ship now. All right, so we have the Vanguard. We have. Oh, I guess that's all you could pick. Everything else seems to be locked. Keep racing to unlock them. Okay. So, in addition to unlocking a ship or a class, there we go. So you got to pick a class one ship, but you can pick any of these ships here. Okay, so you do have a big difference between all of the different. Uh, attributes over here. So you have acceleration, max speed, grip, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I'm usually uh, a guy when I start one of these games that likes to start out somewhere in the middle. Uh, acceleration and max speed is always a good thing though. So this is the one that they, they give you in the very beginning. Let's compare some of the other things that they change up here. Grip, structure, I don't know the difference between any of this stuff so I don't quite know how these things are going to actually handle. Though I do know that I want a pretty good acceleration. Let's go with the default. Let's just see what happens here. First ship is sponsored by the Federation. Choose carefully. Unlock the ESA AG, AGR Vanguard. Yeah, why not? Let's see what happens. We're now ready to race. So let's do this. The woman is talking, but I can barely make her out over the music because the music is so loud. But basically, it sounds like she says you can unlock other stuff if you keep racing and earning money and stuff, which sounds pretty typical for a racing game, right? All right, so let's jump in here. We got next event. We got a profile. We could, we could look at our ships. Uh, unlockable at level three, the power-ups. Okay, so we're not even close to unlocking any of this cool stuff here, but you can check out your profile, of which we've done nothing. We own <laughs> one ship out of the 28. Uh, next event... Uh, is a welcome trial. Okay, cool. So the interesting thing about Red Out is that this game has been sort of on the release schedule for the Switch for, I want to say, close to a year. I remember reading that it was coming to the Switch last year at some point. It's been a while, and this has been on other platforms for a long time. I think it's been on PS4 and Steam, and I think it's on Xbox One as well. It's been on those for a while. Now, Take a quick swig here. Uh, the reason I'm delaying before we start a race is because I wanted to talk about... I, I don't know why it is that it's taken so long for the game to show up, but I will say that the, in the menus and stuff, that it does seem to run a bit... And you may not be able to see it in the video too much, but I definitely see it as I'm playing it. It runs a little... slow. I don't know if the menus are capped at 30 FPS or whatever it is, but the menus seem, as you switch back and forth, seem to go real slow. Let's see what the gameplay is here first, though. I was going to say that the reason why the game may have been delayed is because maybe they were trying to optimize it to the best of their ability for the Switch. The Switch being, a, you know, a little less powerful, a little less powerful than the PS4 or, or you know, a PC that's that's running at uh, really good specs and whatnot. Um, so I'm very interested to see how this is going to run on the Switch considering uh, this is supposed to be a very pretty futuristic racer type game. So yeah, I have sort of a love-hate relationship with these games. I really like some of the F-Zero games, but not all of them. Um... There was uh, the Wipeout game I played on Vita, which I thought was really good. Um, but uh, the Fast Racing Neo game I thought is cool. I actually own a copy of it. I thought it was cool, but it, it didn't like keep me coming back for more because it was really hard for me to keep. Uh, you know, you, you really got to memorize the tracks on those. And that goes without saying for most racing games, right? You got to memorize the tracks. Um, but that one I felt even more so because like you even make one wrong turn and you're you're you know you're gonna be messing up and ending up in last place. The so rubber banding in that game was pretty wild. Um, not a bad game. Maybe I just gotta revisit it. But I've I've just always had a love hate relationship with these games. But I love racing games in general. All right, let's jump into the the welcome trial here. 
Okay, so that is your view. A changes your view to look behind you, which is kind of cool. And here we go. We are off. Woo! So I gotta say, this actually looks and runs pretty good on the Switch there. Uh, in Redout, you can move your ship sideways, strafe. Uh, combined with steering, this control is essential when facing tight turns or chicanes? Chicanes? I don't know what that word is. I learned a new word today. I'm gonna have to look that one up later. Strafe to the right to continue. Ah, I see. Okay. So there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve here. I see. Okay. So you're kind of tilting your ship to take a tighter turn. That's kind of cool. Now, I don't know if you, you can make it out in the video, but you can definitely see that the track, as it comes up further ahead of you, there is a little bit of, like, sort of a... Woo, nice boost there. There is a little bit of, like, a texture pop-in type of thing going on, like uh, particles putting the track together as you're racing on it. And I'm assuming that's for, you know, switch load times and that kind of thing uh, to keep it running steady and whatnot. But it is, like, a very strange effect because as you're watching ahead of you, you're trying to see what's going to come up. And let me... I keep adjusting the volume here because it keeps getting louder and louder as we play. Uh... But, you, you know, you have to look ahead of you as, you know, you're, you're anticipating what's coming up. I'm definitely seeing this, like, weird particle shifting thing going on in the, in the uh, way up ahead. Uh, use the pitch control to face steep slopes without grinding the floor. Pitch up to continue. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, you, you actually, if you use the other analog stick to, like move your, your craft around as you race. It, it really does have a lot of control over how you're turning and stuff. And it helps you uh, stay off of walls when, when you hit walls or get close to them like that. Okay. Yeah, this has a good feel to it. Yeah, that, that weird particle thing and blurring and whatnot that's going on. Motion blur? I don't know what's going on. It, it is kind of throwing my eyes off just a little bit. Um, but I am definitely impressed with how good this is running. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Besides that weird pixelization blurring effect that's going on, you know, up ahead. Some kind of aliasing thing? I'm not quite sure. But it's definitely throwing me off. Okay, so we have we do have a boost as well, so you can boost. Woo! Stuff really starts getting crazy when you boost. Oh man, yeah, we are boosting. Now this track, I, I, I know this is the, the starter rookie track here, but I, I will definitely say that uh, I don't feel like I have to anticipate the turns as much as I used to. Uh, with uh, with other games, like I went through the track once, twice there, and I feel like I kind of got a good hang of like how to control this thing and everything. Let's boost it. Let's get a good time here, huh? What do you say? We're doing pretty good on our health too. Now the hard part is being able to boost. Uh, you know, while also using your pitch to uh, steer the ship a little bit more accurately. Because, of course, boost is on the B button, and pitch in the ship is on the uh, right analog stick. That's a finish. And a new record. I'll take it. I'll take the gold medal. And it looks like, do we hit level two, or does that is that how much progress we have till we get to level two? Hmm. I guess we'll find out. We'll find out after a few more races here. Your pilot level has increased to two. There it is. Okay. So now that we're two, um, I don't think yeah power up power ups don't unlock until level three. So let's just uh, let's go to the next event here. What do you say? Let's just keep, let's keep trucking here, is what I say. Keep trucking, keep carring, keep futuristic racing. 
Yeah, I gotta say that weird... I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's an aliasing thing going on in, you know, in the foreground as you're approaching, uh, you know, as you're approaching uh, those those pieces of the track as they're, they're loading in or whatever's going on. They really do a weird number on the eyes, I gotta say. Alright, so now we actually got other racers to deal with here. Boosting. Sounds like this game is going to have a real kicking soundtrack here. Yeah, there's definitely uh, definitely some, some blurring motion stuff going on here that they're doing for the loading. It definitely helps the game because it's definitely running really good. But for those of you who are used to, like, kind of a clearer picture when you're racing, um, it might be something that might bother you a little bit. Um, but I could definitely see this if this was running portably. I feel like portable mode, you wouldn't even notice it because the screen is so small. I'm playing on a bigger screen, so that might play a little bit of a part in it as well. Oops. Still getting used to the controls here. Still getting used to futuristic desert racing. There we go. Hit that boost. Faster than ever. Oh, only two laps, huh? Okay. I can get down with that. I like a two-lap race. There's always a big pro and con to like, you know, lower numbered lap races. If you get a two-lap race, it's like, oh, I don't have to spend as much time on this race. It's awesome. But that gives you one less lap to uh, try to catch up if you're not doing so well. So pros and cons, right? Oh, I missed my my boost there. I used my boost, but I missed that one. Woo! Oh, wow. That was not a good... Okay. Yeah, I did not take that loop-to-loop -loop very well. One of the other things I think is interesting about uh, racing games nowadays is that it seems like every developer that creates racing games seems to uh, omit the map nowadays. I don't know why that is. You know how you know Mario Kart has a little map in the corner where you can see where everybody's at and everything? I kind of miss that. I kind of miss uh, when, when developers used to include that. Alright, so we got a bunch of money. Looks like we hit level 3, which means we're going to get power-ups here, which I'm looking forward to checking out. Pilot level is three. Unlocked power-ups. So let's check out our power-ups, huh? Here you can purchase, and install you can purchase power unlock... Active power-ups need to be manually fired during the race. Alright, so you can unlock them, install them, upgrade them, and choose active ones and everything. Okay, so let's pick one that goes here. No power-up to equip, I guess. Oh, I see. Here we go. So we got an Imp Blast. How much do we have? We had, we had 12,600. So we have an EMP Blast, uh, Energy Drainer, EPSS. It's a shield that takes damage for you. So that's kind of cool. It seems like you're going to have other dudes that can throw EMPs at you, drain your energy. So there is going to be a little bit of uh, fighting as we go on here, too. Overloads your magnetic stabilization system, granting unparalleled magnetic grip and handling. Upgrade also grants a small speed boost. Drains your whole energy pool for a powerful one-shot turbo boost. And a repair drone. Use energy to repair your ship. Huh. That's kind of cool. All right. Well, let's go with an EMP blast. Um... Oh, I see. Okay. It highlights in red the one that you're going to use. So over here, I could select none if I want. But let's see what we got. Overloaded energy turbine, augmented propeller. So these are passives, and then the EMP is active. So the active one is the one that you can use while you're on there, which is kind of cool. All right. Uh, this one gives you a max speed and acceleration boost. Let's just go for that. You can never go wrong with max speed acceleration, right? Uh, okay, go back to... Oh, I see. Okay, so we select that. And then we hit back. And 
And we select that. There we go. We got it selected. Okay. Menu is a little confusing. Uh, but I think I got it figured out. So you select one. But for some reason, the first time I did it, it didn't select the one that I bought. I don't know. Either way, it's selected now. You can see it there. Let's jump into the next race. See what we're going to do here. A little bit of a long, long loading time here. Definitely loads up and then it gets stuck here for a moment. Then we're in there. So if I had to guess, that must be why it's taken them so long to put the game out. It, it has to be sort of an optimization thing. Here we go. I got another desert level here, but it looks like we have a jump in this one, which looks pretty sweet. Here we go. Okay. Okay, I just hit the brake around the corner. That's pretty cool, actually. There we go. Hug those turns. Yeah, I feel like this game also gives you enough warning when, when turns and stuff are coming up. You get these big arrows coming up that are like, hey, you got to turn a little bit going into this. It's a good warning. Woo! Let's see how good I can actually do on this time trial. Woo! Colors, everything. And the jump. Okay. I'm always a big fan of any game that's going to give you a nice big jump area. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, go this, this way. All right, so boost is on the uh, left bumper as well, so you don't have to use your regular buttons to do anything uh, for that which is good to know. See, I should be saving my boost to use it at the jump here. That's coming up. Okay, we grab that. Here's the jump. Use the boost. Woo! Now that's a jump. Check that out. Because it is recording your longest jump ever. Each time. It's recording your jump. I think that's cool to keep that in your statistics. Oh, I thought it said we were done. Nope, my mistake. I thought it was, <laughs> that was two laps. Ah, crap, Ola. My mistake, I did not see the three. That's a big duh on my part. Keep going though. We're definitely gonna be behind our best there for slowing down, but oh well, what are you gonna do? We can at least try for a longer jump this time. Okay, here we go. Hit this. Boost it. There we go. Will we get our longest jump here? Yep, we beat our per previous jump. Best lap, we got a 45.5. That means we're going to get a silver because we are just a smidgen over the gold. I like that the game tells you where you're at, how you're doing, and everything like that. Very nice. Gives you the times up there so you know exactly what you're shooting for. That way you know if you need to restart. I kind of like the way they're doing the time trial stuff in this, as opposed to... Um, okay, and you can return back to other races if you didn't do well. So we got a gold on that one. And... Where's the silver that we got? Is it here? Pure time attack. We got a gold on that one. Supposedly, right? No, the gold time is 45. Our best time is 45.5. Okay, that's a little confusing. They should put a little silver medal next to your best time, so that way you know which your time was. Seeing that gold there made me think, oh, then we got the gold, right? Okay, I see. Then in the menu here, they have a little silver emblem. So that's a gold, that's a gold, that's a silver. Okay. I'm getting it. I'm putting it together here, guys. So it does keep track of what you win. So you can revisit older races and redo those uh, if you so choose. If you grind the floor, you will lose speed and health. Make sure you control the pitch on the steep whatevers. Those go, go by way too quick. I can't read them. The more you drain, the more powerful the boost. That makes sense. The more of your boost you use, the faster you go. 
the more of it you use. Seems to make sense. All right. Merman. Whoa! All right, so you could definitely, like I said uh, earlier, I don't know how this is actually coming off in the video. Um, actually, it looks like it's recording quite fine. And it looks pretty good. Oh, boy, we really hit that one hard, didn't we? Um, don't hit the walls. There you go. Don't hit the walls. Um, but with all those guys on screen at once, and then the uh, sort of... There we go. We gotta keep ourselves from hitting the uh, sides here. Oh wow! Just this is just another two lapper, huh? Oh, geez, we're gonna blow up here for sure. I was not paying attention to my health before. Probably should have been. Ooh boy, we're getting real close to uh, <laughs> to death here. Now, if you blow up, is that the end of the race? Or is that they bring you back? Uh, but anyway, yeah, the game was kind of chunking a bit there. I don't know if that came over on the video or not. Oh boy. Okay, our health went up. It did. It did regenerate a bit. There we go. We managed to get first somehow. But the game was chunking up a bit when I had all those racers on screen at once, and it was trying to process all the stuff coming up, like we talked about the aliasing thing and all that. Um, the game was was chunking up just a little bit. Yeah, we, it looks like we've hit level four. Pilot levels increased to level four. It's interesting how some of the levels don't seem to really do a whole lot. They're just like, yeah, you hit level four. That's about it. Uh, so our career progress is only 1%. So that must mean that there's they're either counting like all of the special things you could do. They must count getting golds versus getting silvers that kind of, oh yeah this is what it is they're counting every single upgrade you can get every ship you can get uh all of the race tracks that you can unlock uh there's apparently platinum medals that you can get in addition to gold um so it looks there's actually a lot to do in this game but what i will say though is i really like that it keeps track of uh your max speed your longest jump the amount of distance you've gone the amount of distance you've gone supersonic, which I don't know what that is. That might be something they're still going to teach us here. But let's go, let's jump into our next race here. Yeah, the long load times. I'm not, man. Longer than longer than I would anticipate here. What is that? About 15 seconds? 20 seconds? Still loading. Yeah, that... Honestly, with everything else going on in this game, that might be my biggest gripe with it so far. Oh, jeez. Yeah, because I feel like I could deal with the aliasing thing, because the game runs pretty good. Um, I could deal with it chunking up just a little bit, but the long load times, man. I get that there's a lot going on in this game. I do get that, but... Alright, we actually got someone who's giving us a little bit of a run for our money here. Passing us up. This is the, uh, the cool map where we can try to beat our longest distance uh, jump, though. Nope, not gonna do it there. Personal lap record, though, is good. Oh, this is an elimination. I didn't notice that it changed. So is it whoever who's ever in last place then? Yeah, there's four laps. Okay, just don't be in last place. We'll be all right. Woo! We're getting some good boosting going on here. Oh, jeez. Okay, blasted right by me. Oh, he knocked me. Did you see that? I was going to get my longest jump ever, and then he knocked me. 
All right, I gotta figure out how to use my EMP. I don't know what the button is for that. I'd like to knock that guy out. And I gotta really watch my health here. Watch it uh, start regening. There we go, now it's regening. All right, so that's good to know. As long as you don't hit any walls for a while, your health will start to regen. Oh, jeez. Slow it down, slow it down. Alright, that was a good jump right there. Still not far enough, though. When you're by yourself, you don't have as much pressure. You can make those huge jumps. Oh, jeez. This will not be one of my best laps here. And... Oh, jeez. Watch yourself, ship. Watch yourself. Stay in the, stay in the zone. Stay in the pocket. Don't blow up. Oh, I'm like super freaking out right now because I don't want to blow up. Okay, we got our health back. We're good. Boost it. Woo! Favorite part of the game. Love the flying and the jumping. Look at that. It's another first for us. Another gold medal. Thank you, thank you. There we have it. I'll take the gold. Give me the gold. I love it. Pilot level has increased to five. But nothing else has happened. So we got a ton of gold. Uh, not gold, I'm sorry, not gold. But we got a ton of money. I guess we should go look at the power-ups again and see what else we can do. Uh, energy drainer. When an opponent is in range, trigger this power up to drain their energy, add it to your pool. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know, we haven't even used the EMP yet. I feel like we ought to just kind of... Let's wait until we actually get to use that. We got the Alaska Speedway coming up. Let's give this a shot. Seems pretty cool. Frozen Speedway Trial. Three, two, one, go. I think that they were really smart in how they set up the races in this game because the way they did it was they, they set you up with a trial first and you do the trial so you can learn the track, then you start racing on it. That's actually a very, very smart way uh, to get the player... Oh, jeez, I am not taking these turns very well. Um, it's a very clever way and very smart way to get the player used to your game and used to your tracks. But I gotta say, this track with all the colors and the anti... or not anti-aliasing, but the aliasing thing that's going on with the blurring and the pixelization and stuff, like, it is really throwing my eyes off. I don't know if it's the pink or what. Now, like I said, I don't know if it's really coming through on the video or not, but it is really playing hell on my eyes. New record. New record. I'm not sure that this is my favorite track. No jumps. No jumps. No like. <laughs> no, there's just like so many so many twists and turns. This one is a lot harder to navigate than the uh, previous uh, tracks that I've been on. And I, I wish I wish I liked the look of it more. The, like I said though, the, the pinky purpley like brightness of it is really throwing my eyes out to the point where like I can't even tell what's coming up. I don't know if it's the pink or, or what it is. It's just really not working out for me. Okay, that was a checkpoint. Oh, we got three laps, huh? All right, we need our health back. All right, let's try to learn this track just a little bit. We got to ease up. Oh, don't. Okay, I keep hitting stuff anyway. Oh, that's an explosion. Okay, it does respawn you back on the track. Okay, that's good. It's got to be a huge penalty, though, when that happens. That's got to be huge. Oh, jeez. I'm just ping-ponging all over the place here. Woo! Okay, 
Okay, take this turn. I'm also not sure I'm a big fan of the like, little foggy entrances that they have in this one, too, because you can't see what's coming ahead of you. Well, I mean, once you play the track enough times, you're, you're going to know, but... I somehow got a silver on that, even though I blew up. I felt like I did kind of terrible on it, but... I guess maybe this game might be a little bit more forgiving. That's not a bad thing. All right. Um, next event looks like we're back in the desert. Still loading. Doing the load thing. Still doing it. And we're still loading. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I can't help but comment on it because it's happening while we're sitting here waiting for the, the race to load up. Once the race loads up, like I said, it runs well. It, it really does. The only time it doesn't is when it seems like there's a lot of dudes on, on screen with you at the same time. Okay, this is a completely new desert track. I thought this was one we had raced already before. Oh! Oh, I thought that was death. But this is a new one. So it seems like they're going to have uh, a lot more than just two tracks on each, you know, different tile set and whatnot, which is pretty cool. Ooh, that was not a good stop right there. It's interesting because... You know, when I when I look at race tracks in games, I always think of like, okay, this is the track with the with the thing in it. You know, you always think that there's one outlying thing in the track that sticks out. You know, like there was that one desert track. I didn't I didn't catch the name of it, but it's got that big jump in it. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, it's the one with that cool fun jump in it. And then uh, everyone knows like, oh yeah, the desert track with the jump in it. Yeah, right. Even if you don't know the name. You know exactly what track it is that you're referring to. Some of these tracks, because they're all in the same, or they have the same uh, assets, you could say like, oh, it's that one desert track, and someone would be like, well, which one? There's like four or five of them. And you're like, well, there's the one with the jump, and you're like, well, yeah, everyone knows that one. This one has the jump. I guess you could say this is the one with the buildings in it. it seemed to be the first one with buildings. But I feel like the racing itself almost needs more or the, the, the tracks in this game themselves need a little bit more of like a landmark type of thing going on. The first two desert tracks do. There's one with the loop-de-loop, -loop, which is the tri the first trial one, you know? Um, I guess you could say with this one, this is the one that's got that real tough turn, like right before the finish line. I guess you could say that. But I will say I definitely like the desert assets over the... the... Uh, pink and blue assets that they created for that Alaska race. So here, uh, oh, we got ship class two unlocked. Looks like we're going to go check out a new ship here. Hey, hey, look at this. And we don't have enough for that. Okay, we need 30K to get to class two. So we're, we don't quite have enough yet. So let's see if we can make that in this race and we'll get get a class two ship and we'll check that out. Um, Yeah, I'm hoping this, this Alaska track we're loading up, This I think this is going to be a different one. We'll see. Um, but I'm hoping this one will have some more landmark stuff in it. It does look like it has some kind of little jump in it, which I'm always a fan of. So yeah, there, there's definitely some sort of filter or something going on with stuff ahead of it, because those two guys in front of me, I see their names, and even their names look kind of fuzzy. But hey, I, I guess whatever you got to do to get this to run on the Switch, right? Jeez, I'm just kind of banging around all over the place. These uh, these Alaska ones have much tighter turns to try to get used to. Ooh. Okay. Here we go. Here's a turn coming up. Get ready for that one. There we go. Took that one pretty good. Get that boost. There we go. Oh, get back on track. No, I totally missed. <laughs> That's pretty good, though. Another new fun jump. This, this track I like better than the other Alaska track they started you out with. This one feels like one I can memorize and really get good at. And I really like that jump as well. 
Yeah, this one just flows a little bit better. I think it's because the other one had those little areas with the the fog gates that really threw me off at first, because you can't see what's coming up past those gates. Oh, that's not good. Watch the health. Watch it, watch it. Take this one. There we go. Okay, good turn. All right, there we are. Good jump. Somehow we are in third position. We're not doing too terribly bad here. Second lap was better than my first one, so that's good. Ugh, there's another one of those fog things. I wonder if those are in, like, the regular games that are on PS4 and, and Steam and stuff like that. Oh, blew up. Or I wonder if that's something that was introduced in the, into the Switch to help with the loading times or, you know... I don't know. I do know that I do not like them. I do not like them, Sam I am. Okay, so it tells you when the first guy gets through the race. It tells you when the second guy gets through the race. And it looks like I'm going to take third here. Which should still be a bronze. We still placed, but it's not the best. Bronze metal. And, oh, we got just under enough to get the uh, second class car. Just under enough. We're going to have to do one more race to get a second class car and check it out. We got Frozen Speedway Grand Trial. Oh, okay. okay, so this is another trial race here. Okay, well, let's give it a shot. Let's make that money. Let's get that Class 2 car. That's what I want. Strafing towards the turn apex. Three, two, one, go. There we go. Boost, boost. All right, we have some vocals in the in the tracks now. All right, so this was the the first Alaska, uh, the first Alaska track uh, track here. Let's see if I can do any better on this one. Woo! Now, I noticed the other Alaska track that we just played though. That that was the first time we played it, and we actually did a race on it. It wasn't a, a trial like they had been doing with the other tracks, so. Wow, that is some fast boosting right there. Okay, on second playthrough, this one doesn't feel as tough as it did the first time. You gotta remember with racing, there's always that learning curve the first time you're playing it. You also gotta remember, uh, my initial thoughts on things are not always my final thoughts on things. Because <laughs> this track definitely feels like it flows a lot better the second time racing it. Obviously, muscle memory kicks in, memory kicks in, or uh, regular memory. Oh, that's a bad, bad hit right there. And we are looking pretty, pretty good here. Let's get that speed up. Look at this. I like the three boosts in a row like that. That's pretty fun. Oh man, this guy's going nuts on guitar. He's soloing up. Big time. Woo! Where are we heading here? Boost. And we're just, just behind our other time. Let's see, what did, what did we get? Best lap was 12. So we got a silver. Not bad, not great. Could be worse. Let's see if we got the money for a second class car though. That's what I'm interested to know. Are we... Still alive here? Hello? Wow, I think the game actually froze on us. 
Huh. Okay. Uh, I guess that might, must be the end of the Let's Play for today, then. I was not expecting that. I wonder if it'll actually save my my silver that I just got. All right, guys. Well, I guess that's read out. Um, wow. I can't believe it froze right there. Crazy. Um, it's uh, it's not a bad game. It seems to run pretty good on the Switch, but there are a few things that just, like, I, I'm not the biggest fan of. Like I said, this game um, was supposed to come out, like, over a year ago, I think. About a year ago, somewhere around there. And uh, I was under the impression that they probably had to optimize the game for the Switch, which looks to be the case because uh, we talked about some of the aliasing issues, you know, when you're looking ahead on the tracks. We talked about uh, the loading times. Um, we talked about the game chunking up when there's too many uh, racers on screen. or Maybe not too many, but a lot, we'll say. Um, and then it just froze on me. So uh, keep in mind, I guess this game just came out, so maybe they'll have a patch for it that will fix some of these things or maybe, you know, repair the freezing thing because this is no good but yeah i mean otherwise though it seems like a pretty competent racer um i would uh like to check it out probably on like steam or, or something like that later just to see how it runs there but yeah there you go guys that is right out on switch uh please don't forget to subscribe to us here uh, uh at video chums on youtube because we come out with videos like this and gameplay videos all the time and of course don't forget to subscribe to my own personal youtube channel which is at youtube.com slash watch ggrc because i come out with reviews and vlogs and all kinds of different types of videos there as well so until next time we'll see you then bye